Guys, what are we doing today? Well, as you can see in front of you, there are a bunch of button locks there. I love button locks, and so what we've got is we've got five of the best button locks on the market. So I decided, since I did the Beg Letter XL, I decided that I was going to go through and pick out the best button locks I could think of, and we're going to put them all up against each other. So we're going to turn this around, and we're going to talk about five of the best button locks out there. A couple of them you have a chance of winning. I'll talk about that in the video. So let's turn this around, take a look at it from above. Well, guys, like I said in the intro, we're going to look at five great button locks that are on the market or can be picked up on the secondary market. The first one we're going to look at is this Beg Letter XL. So let's get all this stuff out of the way and talk about it. So this first knife, like I said, is the Big Letter XL by Kaiser. And I am really, really happy that Jared sent this along. I'm, I have said it for a long time that I wasn't in the market to buy any more knives anytime soon after I got my Norseman, but this one is really, really good. Uh, this is one of the best button locks out there. The button lock is a very versatile locking mechanism. I've talked about that before. You can do a lot of stuff with it. You can use it as a flipper. You can use it as a thumb stud operator. It can be done in an auto configuration, but this one is done exceptionally well. There is no lockup issues with this. The plunger lock on this is just done brilliantly, and this is an overall beautiful knife. This one is done in uh, 154CM and like a burnt orange or light brown micarta. Uh, I have found zero issues with this knife. Came ridiculously sharp. Perfect grind on this blade. Comes down nice and thin. This is a contender for knife of the year, in my opinion. And that doesn't mean year of production, because I think these have been around for a little bit. I'm talking just specifically knife of the year that has come in, because it's the first I've gotten to see it. Great, great knife. The button lock on this is just perfect. It is drop shut. Kaiser's knives have increased in quality over the years. It's a lot like Kubi. I haven't had any Kubis in lately, but Kubi was one of those brands as well that was one of those just kind of overlooked. And the same thing with Kaiser. They were they were really back of the pack, and now those two companies have really, really improved what they're doing. This thing has great ergos. It is a huge knife. But it's nice and thin, carries nice and thin, and it is attractive. I just wish that my knife didn't look surprised all the time. Um, but yeah, this thing is this thing is awesome. One of the best button lock mechanisms out there right now. And like I said, it is so drop shut that it kind of bounces out of detent. So um, the nice thing about these is they're fidgety. You can use it like a wrist flick. Uh, just like you do with a access lock. But yeah, these things are amazing. So there's your first one, the Beg Letter XL. This next one was a gift. Uh, this is the Hogue X1MF or X1 Mini Flip. And this thing is a lot of fun. This one has a weird kind of a detent uh, on it that sounds really, really cool when it kicks in. And it has a secondary lock. Now, I'm not a fan of the secondary lock. Secondary lock is only for when the knife is deployed, which I could see if you had issues with it. You know, if, if you were up on it, maybe you were afraid it was going to lock. But I've never used it. I've never had any issues with it. But this thing is great. Super, super light. Great jimping on it. It is not... It feels bigger than it actually is. Lot of good features. The button lock on it is done great with that detent. It's not fidgety. You can't push the button and do it like the other one. So this one actually has like a closed detent. But this is done in aluminum with a Delrin a hard plastic backspacer. You have a reversible pocket clip. It's done in a fashion. It's a US made knife. It's done in a fashion that keeps the cost down, but it is still an awesome, awesome knife. It's CPM 154. Um, I don't like CPM 154 as much as I like 154 CM, but still really, really good if you keep a toothy edge on it as I have with this one. Uh, the way this thing feels in hand is amazing. And it is one of those knives that is really, really great in this button lock. And like I said, you don't have that feature where you can kind of push on it and fidget. It definitely has a flipper detent. But the button lock features on this are great, great, great. And I like how they, even though a lot of companies don't do this, when you do a reversible pocket clip, keeping those holes clean so that you actually can reverse this back and forth is great. Blade shape on this one, nice Warren Cliff style blade, good flipper tab, great, great ergos on this. So there you go. There's number two, the Hogue USA made X1MF 
or the X1 Mini Flip. Really, really nice knife. Thanks to the subscriber that sent it. Great, lots of fun, spends a lot of time in my pocket. Well, a lot of you guys know that this was gonna happen. This was gonna show up. This is actually part of my 10,000 sub giveaway. This all black uh, pyrite from CJRB. This is a thumb stud flipper only, button lock. This is a great, great knife. I think this one is better than the prototype I had, which is also part of the giveaway. I'm giving away two of these for my 10,000 sub giveaway. Uh, but this is a great little knife. It's a lot like the Feldspar. Um, it falls into a category of knives that I have a lot of already. So it's just kind of out something, some, outside of something I would want. But this is a great, great little knife. Ground really well. CGRB is doing it in ARRPM9. And like I said, all black hardware, all black. The only pop of color is your logo, which I love the CGRB logo when it's on a black blade like that when it's just black and and silver and your buttons so it's a very classy look to it really nice looking the the pd i'm sorry the pvd coating on this has been done really well this is brand new has this was this will be sent mint to whoever wins it uh but yeah the only things that you've got that aren't color are your standoffs your stop pin and your button your plunge lock and this thing is super smooth guys this thing, this thing actually is a better done knife than the prototype was. Sorry about that little, uh, little remnants of the dog. Uh, yeah, this thing is great, great shape blade on this. Nice belly, cuts really well, comfortable, comfortable in hand, decent pocket clip. And the thing is, they offer pocket clips that you can replace this with uh, that fit this whole pattern. And I think their pocket clips would fit the majority of knives that I complain about from other companies. Deep carry pocket clip all the way in. This one's not uncomfortable. Uh, the Pyrite that I had here, the prototype, I actually carried it. Uh, I liked it because I could carry it way forward and it would sit down nice and deep and I didn't, I could carry two knives in my front pocket that way uh, and not have to worry about when I would sit down that the second one that was more closer to the zipper would poke me. So there you go, the CJRB Pyrite, uh, which is available now. Uh, I'll put an affiliate link down below for it. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, great knife. Uh, this one's part of the giveaway. So make sure you're, uh, make sure that you keep your eyes open for that coming up. So your next one's going to be the Heretic Nyes Medusa. Now this is a button lock auto and these are hard to find. I'm not gonna lie, this is my personal one. Uh, you can find these on the secondary market. Uh, this one's an older one, has the original H clip, but this is another configuration of a button lock. You can definitely use a button lock. They're great for autos. A lot of company uses them, use them as autos. As a matter of fact, the predominant switchblade configuration you're gonna see is a button lock. Uh, it's just done differently because it's holding that under tension and that is your lock and unlock and so these are great this is a great great knife a uh, big shout out to alex for sending this along as a gift you can see this does get used even though this is a rare kind of piece and a very expensive knife these things are great all the heretic knives are amazing tj over there tony jr does a great job with a very limited amount of employees and a very limited amount of facilities um, something just fell out in the background. Um, all of his knives are great. Great designs. Beautiful work on all these. This is a recurve Tonto that they've done. It's got good, decent feel in hand. And like I said, I love the old original H clip. Can you see that I carry this? I had thought about getting rid of this and maybe selling this knife, but the fact is I carry it enough that it's not, I'm not going to be able to sell it. I would have to refinish this, but Button lock autos are always really well done. Protect does really good job with them. Uh, and the nice thing about them is these, even if these don't have the failure that you get in and out the front, if you bump up against something and then you move it away from the item, it continues to deploy. If I was going to recommend an auto for somebody, if they were saying, oh, I want to carry an auto as uh, a secondary tool for self-defense, things like that, a button lock auto, an out the side would be what I would recommend. Because like I said, even if you hit that, once that obstruction gets out of the way, continues to deploy. These are great, great knives. You can pick up a Heretic. I absolutely recommend them. Love TJ. I love the guys that he works with and I love the stuff they do. So there you go. There's your fourth one, which is the Heretic Knives Medusa. So this brings us to our last one, which is the CJRB Lago, another button lock from CJRB. This one I think is my favorite button lock of the year. 
the beg letter has a case for itself to be one of the knives of the year, but I think this overall is the best button lock configuration knife I've seen because of the options you get with it. Flipper, reverse flick, no thumb stud. You can't reverse flick really with the beg letter XL. And then this beautiful blade that comes down. This is one of my all time favorite knives so far this year. Uh, coming in from CGRB. I'm keeping one of the ones. I know that some of them were sent. Uh, I was sent some of these. This is part of the 10,000 sub giveaway. I'm keeping one of the logos that came in. So you're getting this and this as part of the 10,000 sub giveaway. But these are amazing. This thing is just all around a great, great knife. You've got this beautiful blade shape that comes down, really reminiscent of a Warren Cliff but kind of spear point, big fuller in here. The look of this, this is the one I'm giving away just because it's so beautiful. I have to do this as the giveaway. Um, the red pivot collar on the all black, the only others pop of color is your uh, standoffs there. Deep carry pocket clip that's nice and wide. This is not at all uncomfortable. It sits in hand just about perfect. The blade on it, like I said, is so good for every task. And then you've got this nice handle that comes up and swells up. Super, super comfortable. I saved this one for last because I honestly have to say, I think this is probably my favorite CJRB they've made. And it's my favorite button lock that has come out this year. I honestly, as much as I like that beg letter XL would have to say, I take this over it because it's, it's a little bit more fitting in the size constraints of what I carry these days. And it's just such a good good blade shape so this this one and this one are part of the giveaway that i talked about so yeah guys this is uh this these are a lot of fun if you if you like button locks these are some of my favorites um if you can find them um i do know that like the the hogue might not be as easy to find and the uh that heretic nias medusa is probably going to be something you're going to find on the secondary market. But I still say five of the best button locks out there that you could find anywhere. So, guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. That's five of the best button locks on the market. And I, I don't own as many of them as I should for as much as I like button locks. But I can tell you there's a good chance there's going to be a big letter XL in my Christmas stocking. Um, <laughs> it's my wife and kid are going to be in Japan, so I'm going to get myself a Christmas present. Um, yeah, guys, if you like button locks, go try to find those. Like I said, a couple of those are part of the giveaway for the 10,000 subs, which we're coming up on. So, guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you've got it set for all. And then make sure you've got notifications turned on on your device so you get notified of everything I put up every week. Uh, if you want to support the channel financially, bunch of ways down below. I have a ton of affiliate links. It's like self-sponsorship. Anything you purchase with the affiliate links supports the channel, but it doesn't cost you anything at checkout. Some of them I can actually get you a discount. Doll Strong Knives, I believe, still has a discount. They're talking about getting rid of that. 5% off at Coffee Brand Coffee. And... Uh, Atlas VPN is 85% off through the holidays. It's $44 for a two-year subscription for a great VPN. All stuff that I use here at the house. Um, other ways you can do it. I have a membership down below. It's all tier-based. Every one of the members has access to the Gilded server. It's just like Discord. We do a lot of stuff there. Baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered to giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series where I've set it up so that they can view that only behind the paywall as a paid premium member. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. where you can purchase my merchandise or other creators merchandise at a discount with my coupon code Crazy Sharp. Capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. Go check out my merchandise. If you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in the outro of a video on the green screen. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.